Hey everyone, I'm Mina Angelfire, and welcome back, explorers, to Exploring the Multiverse. This is my little Let's Play series for all the random games I might be interested in playing. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I've been a little bit busy on my build world. So, um, I'm not quite done with the roof, but I've already determined that this portion will be um, my oak tree farm. <laughs> and yeah, I will be harvesting um, oak wood and uh, saplings in survival. Um, but for the purposes of my exploring the multiverse series, I will be in, um, creative. <laughs> so, uh, I've also added this little bit right here. So we have a entrance, uh, for now. Um, well, there will be another entrance eventually, but this portion is not done yet. And over there, I'm thinking about maybe doing a spruce trees? I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah. Let's get on with the video. <laughs> or rather, this episode. Uh, there we go. And yes, I've got to clear this up. Oh, and it's getting dark. Okay, so, um, I think we better go see what's on the other side of the world portal. So, shall we go? <laughs> and hop to it. Now that we are through the world portal, we find ourselves in the world of Wizard 101. <laughs> and, uh, I will say that, uh, some very special people in my life actually recommended this uh, quite a while ago and uh, some friends recommended it recently too so I figured why not <laughs> so um yeah we're going to start and create a new character and if well if what I've seen online about this game uh, comes to pass, this has a lot of replayability. Plus, it goes longer than to level 50. <laughs> so who knows? Um, but let's get going and create my character. Aha! The spell is working. Oh. Look, Gamma. Finally, we have found one. Found who? What? Oh! My sentiments exactly. A young wizard. A student with amazing potential. Enough, perhaps, to save Wizard City. Wait. Wizard City is in trouble? That can't be. Oh, really? Um, good question. Where? <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit confused by that, too. Oh, a very, very distant realm. Oh, my goodness. On a world that does not even believe in magic. Oh. I wonder what manner of wizard they might become. <laughs> Perhaps we should consult the Book of Secrets. Okay. Headmaster Ambrose turns to regard you intently. Answer these questions to find out what type of wizard you are. All right. Or I could, um, uh, shall we say, um, skip the test and choose my school? 
but you know what? This is my first time round, so I want to try to keep this as authentic as possible. So, I like to spend time with my friends and by myself. Well, if you put it in this way, I like to spend time gaming with squads, or I like to spend time soloing games, because I don't have many friends. <laughs> Um, we'll go by myself. Uh, I'll say, which of these is the most powerful? A sandstorm, a volcano, a plague, a hurricane, a blizzard, tornado, earthquake. Hmm. Well, I will say Earthquake because it can go everywhere, and the deaths are more sudden. Plagues are usually um, take time, but they're just as deadly. Oh, uh, my favorite class in school is sports, reading and writing, science or math, health, I like all my classes. I like reading and writing better. Um, what is your favorite time of day? Hmm. We'll say night. The most important thing in my story is all of the characters. Um, what is your favorite animal? The sad thing is, my favorite animals are both dragons and unicorns. Um, unicorns are more potent healers, and dragons, well... Why don't I go with dragons? Because dragons can be powerful, they can be healing, they can be, well, many, many things. If we're completely honest. So, we'll go with dragon. But I really like the unicorn. Alright. What's your favorite gemstone? Peridot, amethyst, onyx, ruby, or sapphire? Hmm, Amethyst. Oh! Okay. You have chosen the school of Storm. Storm wizards are often impulsive, educated, creative, and independent. Famous diviners include Benjamin Franklin, Lady Cersei, and Galileo. Storm wizards are capable of devastating attacks but have somewhat weaker defenses. Okay. I could do the try again, but no, this is my first character. So we'll do this, Storm. Oh, my vision is failing me. Are you a boy or a girl? Well, your vision better stop, Bailey. Okay. But now that we know what you are, what do you look like? Uh... I'll take care of the hair. No. Well... That's pigtails. Oh, yeah. I like these. <laughs> and we'll go red. And, um, face. Uh, 
we'll go with the green eyes. <laughs> and I'm not going to mess with the skin tone. I'm just leaving it. <laughs> After all, she looks pretty good that way. <laughs> good, good. Now, oh. what do you wear? Uh, well, go it this way. There. Yep. And what I think I'll do Yes. There we go. There we go. <laughs> she is done. Well, kind of, I think. All right then. What is your name? Uh, no. Uh, what an A name. Or, wait. Oh, I am Mina. Okay, Mackenzie, Madison, Mara, Megan? Oh, wow. No. Uh, Molly? Well, not quite what I wanted, but... Angel Pirate? <laughs> So I'm having fun trying to, uh, Angel Smith. <laughs> uh, I wonder, can you do Angel Fire? No, but Angel Flame. <laughs> no what? Mindy Angel Flame. <laughs> well, for my storm wizard at least. Okay, so Mindy Fairy Flame is uh, my storm wizard. Alright, here we go. And there she is. <laughs> Shall we play a game? <laughs> Well, hello, if it isn't our newest student. And yes, this is the tutorial. Uh, okay. My name is Merle Ambrose. I am the headmaster of the Ravenwood School of Magical Arts. 
That's excellent. We're expecting great things from you. But first things first. Okay. To move around, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Try it now. My owl friend would like to speak with you. Walk up to Gamma and follow his instructions to talk. Okay. But I want to talk to you some more. <laughs> All right. Hello! My name is Gamma the Owl, and I am quite pleased to meet you. You are? <laughs> Wizards test their skills by summoning fantastic creatures and dueling. To become a master wizard, you must learn every spell in your class. Oh. Wizards love to duel. The more spells you learn, the better a duelist you'll become. Okay. Uh, uh oh. That's oh, not good. Odd. Hmm. Come along, young wizard. Let's investigate the matter. Meet me in the tower. You'd best follow the headmaster. You're safe with him. To the tower! <laughs> okay. Who's there? Malister. This guy looks kind of nasty. Ambrose. You are no longer welcome here. Why have you returned? I'm here to resolve our unfinished business. Is this your latest student? My henchman will see to your little friend. Oh. Hurry along, young wizard. Take this deck of spell cards and deal with those creatures while I tend to Malister himself. Don't be so sure of yourself, old man. Ooh. He's Run nice up and me. confront them. Be brave. I will guide you. Uh, okay. You've drawn oh. these spells from your deck. Quickly! You must choose a spell and use it to attack one of Malastair's henchmen by clicking on him. Okay. Ow! hurt. You'll need to pay attention to your current health. This red crystal ball shows your health. If you run out of health in a wizard duel, you'll be defeated. Oh dear, we don't want that now, do we? The blue crystal ball shows how much mana you have left. Your mana is magical energy. If you run out of mana, you won't be able to cast any more spells. When you're out of mana, you'll be at the mercy. Oh. Why so distracted? We're under attack. Oh, my. Uh, call me a fool. I had all but forgotten. Okay. Uh, where were we, then? Oh, right. Attack his henchman again. And... I'll go after the other one. But when do you need something to deal with both of them?
No match for my forces. Oh no, you're in trouble. Quickly, use the unicorn spill and come and use it on yourself. Creatures, you've let the young whelp heal. Defeat the whelp or you'll suffer for it. Use your spells to weaken the young wizard's spells. Oh. Here, young wizard. Take some more pips. They power your spells. Okay. The more pips you have, the stronger the spells you can cast. Quickly now. Pick another spell and cast it at one of them. There we are. Oh my, that spell reduced the power of your own spell. Nice tree <laughs> At last, you fools earn your keep. Now, finish the child. Oh dear. Cast this balance blade spell on yourself. It will in. Yeah. Oh, I can. This one learns fast, Malistea. Two can play at that game. I've got it. Use this meteor strike spell. It will strike both of the henchmen. Here are the pips to cast it with. Okay. With the balance blade spell you've already cast, the meteor strike spell should finish them off. Cast it now. All right. Excellent work, <laughs> young wizard. Now, let me see to Malister. I'll show him. Threatening a new student before orientation, no less? <gasps> oh. Another time, old man. I have what I came for. Oh, where was that? And now I'll take my leave of this wretched place. Yes, I am doing it, Jack. <laughs> He's gone, and none too soon. What sinister goal brought him here? Hmm. <laughs> I am definitely... Oh, having... my. You look a bit the worse for wear. Hmm. Here, let me restore you to your full health and manner. Oh, I'm pretty down. On the bright side, congratulations. Defeating Malastare's henchmen has earned you some experience. <laughs> uh, 
This experience bar will help you track your progress. Okay. When the bar fills up, you'll gain a level and be able to learn new spells. Right. Now, do you have any questions, young wizard? Um, not really. What's that? You don't know how to speak? Oh, my pardon. Really? Well then, let me teach you how to use menu chat, and we'll see what you have to say for yourself. <laughs> this is the menu chat button. Click on it to say something. Okay. You have the way of it. Now you can chat with anyone you meet and make lots of friends here. Oh. You can also hit enter and type your own messages using text chat. But players under 13 will first need their parents' permission. Uh, that makes sense. <laughs> You'll also need a spell book and a wand. There you go. No young wizard should ever be without them. Okay. I should say, young wizard, that I was quite impressed with your courage. There's little doubt, but that a great destiny awaits you. All right. Oh, who knows? Maybe you'll fill my shoes and become headmaster someday. <laughs> but now, if you'll excuse me, I have a mountain of duties to attend to right now, including readying your enrollment. Oh, dear. <laughs> So, if you don't mind waiting for a moment or two, I'll pop back to my office and straighten up. Okay. So? I'll summon you when things are presentable. Ah, oh, so many books and papers to tidy up. Uh, where did I put those forms? See you soon. Okay. All right, so I'll take this opportunity to just please wait while Meryl prepares his office. This day may take a while. Okay, I'll take this time as an opportunity to kind of look at things. What's this? Oh. And yeah. You know, this kind of looks like a dungeon. But I don't think we have too much longer to wait. So I wonder if there's anything else I can do. Okay, we've finally been summoned. <laughs> Boy, that was a long wait. And here's my gift. Do you want to redeem this gift for this character now? Um... You know what? Since I will probably be using Mindy Fairy Flame for quite a while, yes. Congratulations, you have success successfully claimed your reward. Oh. And I think I'm supposed to um, go up to him. Oh, there's quite a few more people here.
Welcome to Ravenwood Academy. Uh, Mindy, normally this is where you'd be enrolled and sent to your classes. But times are not normal. There is some kind of supernatural incursion in the Unicorn Way that must be dealt with immediately. I wonder. You've demonstrated such potential. I think practical experience will serve you better than lectures. Care to put your talents to the test? Uh... Splendid. Um... Time to... Uh, time is of the essence, so I teleport you there directly. Seek out Private Connolly, the Wizard City Guard, in charge of that area. Okay. So, immediate quest. Oh no. <laughs> cool. Complete. Uh, place the unicorn away. New goal, talk to Private Connolly. Uh, there are creatures here who, who will attack you if you get too close to them. So stick to the task at hand. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa. Young student, the street's very dangerous right now. Is there something I can help you with? Uh, wizard, do you see the... Yes? That means something... Okay. What's that? You say the headmaster sent you to help us? Well then, you're just the person... Er, wizard, I've been waiting for. <laughs> I like the tree thing. This used to be a pleasant street, but we've been invaded by hordes of strange creatures. The guards and I have been doing our best to push the creatures back, but we're no match for their dark magic, especially the undead. Sounds like you need a death wizard. <laughs> Maybe your fancy wizard magic will do the trick. Go battle a few of those lost souls and report back to me. Goodbye. To battle the monsters, run up to them on the street. Oh, when you get close enough to them, they will summon a combat sigil. And you will be pulled into combat. If you want to avoid battle, you can keep uh, safe by staying on the sidewalk. Uh. Oh, if you can drive away, some of these lost souls will be in your death. Okay. That was a victory! Cool. Okay. That was quick. Oh, 
don't do that. A thunder stick. <laughs> Mirror wizard, student wizard, come souls, let's get lost somewhere safer. <laughs> well, your character, well, your character is transparent. You are safe from combat, but it only lasts for a short time. Get to the sidewalk before it wears off. That was fun. Does turn the tide. We'll follow your lead and start pushing these ghostly things back. But I'm worried we won't be able to drive the phantoms away for good without knowing why they're attacking us. We've got to find out what's behind us. Another intrepid student Saren Nightchant also came to help. Maybe he has learned something useful. Okay. So... Oh, this is like... Uh... Other games I've played. Oh, hey there! I'm Saren. You're new here, aren't you? Well, I for one am very glad you're here. Okay. I couldn't help but notice how you took down those two lost souls. I have to say, I'm quite impressed by you as well. I couldn't help but notice how you took down those lost souls. Oh. I have to say, I'm quite impressed by your spell slinging skills. When I heard there was trouble on Unicorn Way, I rushed right over. But then I saw what's out there. Skeletal pirates. <laughs> Skeletons I can handle, but skeletal pirates? Puh! Yar! No, thank you! Pirates give me the heebie-jeebies! <laughs> That's funny! Excuse me, did I hear you two talking about skeletal pirates? If you're going to face them, please come talk to me first. It would be good to know exactly what we're up against. Do you think you could battle a few skeletal pirates to see how tough they are? Uh, sure! Great! I'll mark their location on your map! Thank you so much for doing this. Good luck! <laughs> oh, press M to access your map. You'll notice several points of interest, including the locations of enemies. Oh, nice. Oh! Okay. Now I'm in deep. Because you'll be engaging in combat, it's imperative you know how to regain health and mana. Okay. If you need to boost your health, collect the red wisps you see along the street. Oh! Oh! If you need mana, collect blue wisps. Remember, casting spells costs mana, and fleeing combat drains it completely. So keep your reserves full. Okay. Go battle a few of the skeletal pirates on Unicorn Way. The guards will appreciate a report on their combat tactics. Okay. And, of course... Okay. And I caught what she said. So, we'll talk to her. I'm glad I overheard you two wizards talk about those pesky skeletal pirates. They're looting the street and making such a mess. Okay. If something isn't done, we could be forced to leave the city. Please, will you help us? Olivia is offering you a side quest. Once you accept it, press Q to open your quest log. Quests marked with stars are part of the main story. Side quests are optional, but allow you to gain additional rewards. Good hunting. Oh. Okay. 
so all right uh, I'll follow the arrows stay on the sidewalk I'll do this some more. <laughs> Much for that which rattles in the darkness. <laughs> what? Okay. So yeah, um, we'll talk to Olivia. And yes, I would love to be in this school, but... <sighs> oh, bless you, child. <laughs> I don't have much to offer in thanks. But please, take this magic ring. Maybe it'll help you in your adventures. Okay, what else does she have to say? To put on new equipment, press B to open your backpack. You will see icons showing your hat, robes, shoes, and other items. Oh, okay. Mousing over an item will compare its stats to what you currently have equipped. Select the best equipment available to your school. Thanks again, young wizard. Maybe I can find another helpful young wizard to help sweep up all these eye patches. <laughs> okay. What? What is this? Oh, that's a starter deck. Under seven schools. Oh, 
Oh! Uh, search uh, max spells, 14. Max copies, 3. Cyborg, 5. No trade, no sell. Okay. Pirates warned about a rattle in the darkness? What? See, this is what I was talking about. Pirates are always creepy and frustratingly vague. <laughs> what is clear is that some evil magic has emerged here, and we're going to need more than a handful of guards to stop it. Okay. There is a powerful, ancient being who may be able to help us understand the dark forces we're facing, the wise seraph Lady Ariel. Oh. Not only does Lady Ariel possess strong magic, she's also the warden of the fairies, and they keep her well informed. Ooh, I like fairies. <laughs> Perhaps she's heard something about this rattle in the darkness. Go speak with her in the hedge maze at the far end of Unicorn Way. Oh, monsters mazes. Okay. So, we'll keep going. <laughs> um. Okay. Far in. Of the unicorn way. Oh. oh, I figure why not? <laughs> not quite what I wanted to attack. <laughs> That didn't work. Well, go over here. Of course. And we're going into the hedge maze. We're going into the hedge maze. Here we go. 
Halt! What purpose brings you into our hedge maze? Forgive me, young wizard. These dark times make me leery of new faces. But now I see the light within you. We've much to discuss. Okay. The evil forces that loosed the undead upon Unicorn Way have also corrupted my precious fairies. Please, you must help them. Oh. Vile bone cages have appeared along Unicorn Way. They are filled with a mysterious dark magic that corrupts all fairy folk who venture near them. Oh, that's sad. Dispel the dark magic in the bone cages, then bring me fairy dust from those it corrupted. It may reveal to me who is behind this atrocity. Ooh. It pains me to say it, but the only way to obtain the fairy dust is to wrestle it from the dark fairies in combat. Try to be gentle. Once you've dispelled the bone cages and collected the fairy dust, return to me immediately. Good luck, young wizard. May the light guide you. Okay. That's... Well, that's really sad. Dozer. Wait. Uh, open bone cage? this one. <laughs> oh, it fizzled?
So, this, this is fun. <laughs> Okay. Um. <laughs> there it goes. Sorry, I have to. <laughs> joyful voice call your name. Oh? Thank you for helping us, kind wizard. Your courage and benevolence will not soon be forgotten by the fairy folk. <laughs> That's nice. You've cemented your reputation as a hero to the fairy folk, young wizard. With the bone cages dispelled, I can help the other corrupted fairies in time. Alright. Now we must root out who is behind this attack. Please, let me examine the fairy dust. Is that... Okay. But how? The fairy dust displays scars of a dark magic vanished from this world long ago. Could it be? Rattle? Rattle bones. In life, a ruthless tyrant who was banished to the underworld for his crimes. If I focus, perhaps I can sense his location. Oh. Oh, so much darkness. No, my vision is obscured. All I see is a tower ringed in bones. Siren Nightchant knows Unicorn Way. Perhaps he can help. Oh. You must hurry. Here, take this broom. It will allow you to travel to Siren much faster. <laughs> now fly, and may the light guide you. Okay. You've received a temporary mount that will expire after one day. You can also purchase permanent mounts from mount vendors or the crown shop. Oh. 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 To equip a mount, press B to open your backpack. Next, click on the mount tab, and double-click on the mount you wish to use. Okay. Quickly, you must ride to Siren at once. Ask him if he knows of a tower ringed in bones. Go. Okay. And we'll do that. Oh, uh, no sell, no auction, one day 
equipped to start. I just noticed my mono went up. Stick to the sidewalks. And of course, we're almost done. Oh, with this at least. Hello! Oh, you were gone for so long, <laughs> I was beginning to worry you'd run off and join the skeletal pirate crew. But what did Lady Oriel have to say? <laughs> what is it with with you? thinks an underworld tyrant named Rattlebones is behind all this? Wicked. Let me think. He's in a tower ringed in bones. Huh. Well, the skeletal pirates do seem to be concentrated around the old archives. Try looking there. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Okay. So, let's take a look at the map. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Okay, if I put this way. And this way, and... Okay. That shouldn't be too hard. We'll go there. And after this quest is done... Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Wait a second. This must be the boss. Good work, my thrall. This could be the tome Barrister seeks. Now we... What's this? A wizard? Excellent. I could use a combat break. Let's play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, let's see if I can, uh... Darn. It's this one. Okay. Let's get you 
you out of here. I don't Please don't fizz out. Yes. Yeah, the day is yours, young one. But the dog master's plan is already in motion. You haven't heard the last rattle in the darkness. <laughs> Oh dear. In his haste to leave, Rattlebones dropped the tome he was holding. It could be important. Perhaps Saren will know what should be done with it. Okay. As you walk back onto Unicorn Way, you can't help but notice that the dark magic that was previously choking the street seems to have abated. Oh. Okay. I need to heal up. <laughs> And I'll uh, help out. <laughs> I guess some things don't always um, work out. <laughs> Of course! The darkness plaguing Unicorn Way is lifting! Look! <laughs> With Rattlebones defeated, the guards should be able to drive away the rest of the undead horde. 
Ooh, that tome looks important. You should take it to the library in the commons. Harold Argleston will know what to do with it. Okay. Alright. So, we're gonna head to the commons. Where is the commons? There are the commons. <laughs> All right. One last thing. Well, hello there. I don't think I've seen you in the library before. I'm Harold Argleston, Master Librarian Extraordinaire. You say you recover this tome from an underworld tyrant who is going to give it to his dark master, Malister? My, my, I, I, I do believe this is a matter for Headmaster Ambrose. You should take the tome to him at once. Uh, but before you go... <laughs> Allow me to reward you for your heroics. Please, accept this treasure card on behalf of the denizens of Wizard City. Okay. Treasure cards are special one-use spells of various schools. You can purchase treasure cards from vendors or craft them yourself. Oh. Press P to open your spell deck. Treasure cards are listed under a special tab and are placed into the sideboard of your deck. During combat, right-click a regular card to discard it. Then select Draw to bring out a treasure card from your sideboard. Oh. I didn't know that. Remember, unlike regular spell cards, treasure cards can only be used once. So, use them wisely. Ooh. And <laughs> well, <laughs> at this point, I'll do this. Uh, hmm. Well, go home. Oh, I guess I wasn't supposed to see this yet. Oh well, um, <laughs> either way, I think it's about time for me to, um, yeah, I finished the quest that we needed to finish, so, uh, okay, so now that, um, <laughs> we've finished a couple of quests and defeated, um, that one boss? I think it's time for me to go to my rings room. And, uh, meet you there. <laughs> Welcome back, explorers, to my raiding room. And this time, we are raiding Wizards 101. <laughs> now, I really loved the way it was progressing um and yeah you got a ride of broomstick you could be dressed one way or the other um robes are a little different and very reminiscent of 
Which is Garp. <laughs> Only, uh, witches are wizards? Okay. <laughs> I'll go with it. I loved the quest. I loved how it went. Um, I didn't get any further than what you saw on... <laughs> well, than what you saw. Um, and I really don't know. Uh, either way, I liked it. Um, all the way around. My overall opinion, I loved it. My personal opinion, I also loved it. Well, liked it, technically speaking, but still, it is, it definitely has a chance at potentially having a limited series. Now, um, part of the reason I like doing limited series is it gives me something more to do than just this. <laughs> and of course, if I loved the game or liked it a lot, it gives me an excuse to revisit that game. <laughs> but either way, I think... Oh, I might do a skin for it. I don't know. Um... I might do a skin for it. I don't know yet. <laughs> but I think we better rate this game before I lose track of what I'm saying. <laughs> and overall opinion is a diamond. Therefore, I liked it. And um, personal opinion, I still liked it. <laughs> so diamond either way. And now that I've rated this game, it's time for me to leave you with this. If you have been enjoying my content, feel free to leave a like and or subscribe. You can also leave a comment down below in the comment section. And be sure to hit that notification bell. And be safe, be healthy, and as always, be true to you. Mina Angel Fire. Signing out.